It started as a classroom assignment. I would go into apartments with sacks of food from a local food pantry, and I'd walk into these apartments, and not only would these families not have any food, they had nothing. Finally, he said enough was enough. He quit his job and began a wider circle, an organization that vows to end poverty. Ann Thompson is the deputy director and oversees the day-to-day -day operations. She says this year alone, the program will furnish more than 4,200 homes free of charge. A water circle also offers a variety of classes. The one we emphasize most is our job preparedness. Um, that's six sessions. Um, people work on their resume. They work on um, interview skills cause, and getting a job. People donate all kinds of things, from furniture to food to even beds. On a typical day, the organization averages about 20 volunteers. Alex Foner is a University of Maryland student who didn't really know what to expect when he arrived to volunteer, but meeting the people he was helping made it a memorable experience. It was actually great. We didn't interact too much, but we got to see the people who were choosing the furniture, so you actually got to see the people that you were helping. Mark says the organization is planning to move their classes to Anacostia, and within the next year, move to a new location in order to help the program grow. While Ann works 14 to 16 hour days, seven days a week, she says the look in the people's faces she helps makes it all worth it. I never have to go home at night and wonder if I did something good that day. For Maryland Newsline, I'm Scott Slotnick.